Coolersonsale.com here for the best ice pack for your cooler without ice. We just ran this test with 10 pounds of ice in these coolers and the ice packs on top of that ice, rotating them three times a day, and now we've removed the ice. These coolers have not been pre-chilled. Uh, we've now put six beverages in. We'll show you the inside of every one of these coolers so you can see the setup. Six beverages, the ice packs are on top. We're gonna rotate them three times a day, morning, afternoon, and evening. This will simulate actual use and we will move the ice packs from top to bottom, bottom to top. And um, so basically we've put all these ice packs in there on top right now and put the sensor on the bottom we have these uh, wireless thermometers that tell us the surface temperature as well as the temperature on the bottom of the cooler so we'll give you a rundown as well as show you the inside of each coolers and what we're working with these coolers are in the exact same lineup uh, in terms of the ice packs that we did the last ch challenge with but we've switched up which cooler the ice packs are in so that if the ice pack was originally in a white cooler it may now be in a tan cooler uh, or vice versa. So first up is the Techni Ice. We didn't test this in the uh, first ice challenge, we just tested ice. So now we've put the Techni Ice in uh, and you'll see that the Techni Ice Sheet is actually the largest sheet we're testing. We put two of them in there, so maybe a slight advantage uh, based on size. Uh, surface temperature 86 degrees, the bottom of the cooler is th reading 35.7 degrees. Next up is the Yeti Ice. Uh, you saw this in our first video, this was the first one. Um, 85.6 on the surface, 47.8 on the bottom of the inside of the cooler. Next up is our winner from the first ice challenge where we used ice, and that's the Ingle Ice. Uh, 85.6 degrees on the surface and 39 degrees on the bottom. Again, this is the 20 degree model. Ingle makes uh, multiple ice pack models. Uh, next up is the Arctic Ice. Not to be confused with Arctic the cooler. This is uh, the Arctic Ice Chill and Brew series. They also make uh, several several different model ice packs. This is the Chill and Brew series. Uh, 84, 85 degrees on the surface, 39.7 degrees on the bottom of that cooler. Last but not least is the Cooler Shock. Again, that's the ice pack that you had to add water and then iron the edge. We have a full video on that, how to set up your Cooler Shock. Uh, performed really well in the first ice challenge that we did. We are reading 86 degrees on the surface and 37.2 on uh, the bottom of the the cooler. So the scene is set here for the best ice pack for your cooler without ice. This is for the average guy that just wants to use an ice pack versus a, um, a bag of ice. Uh, I know that there's only six beverages in. Some people might carry 24 or 36. It doesn't matter. At least we're going to get an idea of how long these coolers can maintain uh, internal temperatures. Again, rotate the beverages three times a day and we will be back tomorrow morning for a 24 hour update. Four hour update for the best ice pack for your cooler without ice and uh, quite the difference with this ice challenge being there no ice uh, as a base ice and then the ice packs on top because we have no ice uh, we've pretty much exhausted every ice pack here uh, even last night I came out uh, pretty late about 8 30 when I still had a little bit of daylight and uh, I'll splice those temperatures in because you're already seeing a drastic uh, change in, in temperatures uh, this morning the ice ice packs really aren't doing their job. They're not cooling the inside of the cooler uh, and the temperatures reflect that. So the two takeaways from this ice challenge as well as the last one with uh, a base ice is 
If you're going to use an ice pack in conjunction with physical ice, it will prolong the life of your ice about 12 to 24 hours depending on the ice pack that you've chosen. Um, now we're using ice packs in a 35 quart cooler which uh, two ice packs is just not very significant and you're getting mm, maybe 12 to 18 hours. I can't say that you're going to even go 24 hours because after 24 hours you're reading 62 degrees. The ice packs just aren't doing their job. So if you're going to use ice packs only, use more of them in a larger cooler. Use as many as you possibly can. Uh, if you're going to use a smaller cooler, the same, same is true. You don't have to use as many ice packs obviously, uh, but you want to maximize the size of your ice packs to your cooler. Uh, that's going to prolong the, the life of your ice. Uh, so we'll have a full write-up of the temperatures. We're going to call it uh, the end of the ice challenge because the ice packs are exhausted. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, we'll have a full write-up of this. We already have a write-up on CoolersOnSale.com uh, with the base ice. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. So please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. That's what helps us keep going. 